Public Protectors' investigation into Chitgeka's alleged misuse of public finances completed, and two suspects arrested for allegedly trying to rob a man in shop from a news desk, Gamlebo Changela. The investigation by the public protector on the alleged misuse of over one million rand by Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Hitgelo Shidreka, has been completed. President Jacob Zuma will receive the report within a week. ANC MP Ben Turok in April asked public protector Tulima Doncella's office to post press reports that Shidreka has spent 355,000 rand to visit a girlfriend in a Swiss jail, 640,000 rand to stay in a luxury hotel in Cape Town, more than 160,000 rand on plane tickets for his family and a trip to the Sutu, spokesperson for the protector Khalale Lo Masibi. The investigation is concluded and we are in the process of drafting a report. The public protector made several attempts to interview the minister to no avail. It was necessary for him to give his side of the story. I believe the public protector will tell the truth as she sees it or based on the information she was able to gather during the investigation. Two suspects have been arrested and two others have fled after they allegedly tried to rob a Nike shop in Menden, East Pretoria. Police are searching for the two who are allegedly hiding inside the Menden shopping centre. We'll have more details in the next bulletin. The Council of Geoscience has confirmed that Tembedi informal settlement south of Johannesburg is built on Dolomic land, which is prone to ground movement and can form sinkholes. The council's Greg Heath says the area is not suitable for human settlement and has warned that if residents of Temedikla and other parts of Gauteng lying on Dolomic land are not removed, there could be a catastrophe. More than 110 informal settlements in Gauteng are already located on Dolomic land. SABC reporter Edwin Tsidi. 25% of Gauteng is underlined by Dolomite land. Over 700 urban areas in the province, including residential areas, are either completely or partly located on Dolomatic land. And it says 110 informal settlements are also located on these high-risk areas. Among them, Tembali informal settlement, which has been the scene of violent service delivery protests. Residents of this area are resisting to move, saying government is not telling the truth. However, Council for Geoscience, Craig Heath, says 45% of West Rand is covered by dolomite and people have to move to avoid catastrophe. Edwin in City. SABC News in Western Area, West of Houting. And Free State Premier is Mahashule says senior managers at the Fixburg based Sitzorto municipality who have been fingered in corruption have attended their resignation. He says they are still subjected to a disciplinary hearing after investigations conducted by a task team appointed by the provincial government. Mahashula was addressed to community members who had embarked on a protest action over corruption at the municipality.